Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vicky and you're on Vicky.com. First, first things first, fit check. Okay, I don't know if you can see. Uh, pants are from pennies. Top is from pennies. This top is from pennies. Jacket is thrifted. The scarf I made and the shoes are docks. So guys, today I am doing a book haul and recently I went to the bookstore and I, okay, I bought 10 books, just so you know. But I didn't buy them 10 in a row, I bought them five out of five. And I also have five unread books, so that's fun. This was the first, the first bag. And this is the first uh, lot of books that I got. The first one I'm gonna show is a book, but I wouldn't really classify it as such. It's just, it's a source book for the 1970s, which as a lot of people know, a lot of my friends know that is like my favorite fashion era. Um, so it just has a lot of styles that were really popular then. Next, I have a, this is Emma, but it's not the original. It's not the, um, it's not the Jane Austen novel. It's a modern retelling of Emma. So yeah, I got that. I also haven't read the Jane Austen novel. Um, And then I have, these still have some of the stickers. Then I got The Secret Garden, great book. I've read it once, but I don't even remember because I read it when I was like 10. So I have it again and I really like the cover as well. Secret Garden next by Frances Hodgson Burnett. Oh, Emma by Alexander McCall Smith. <laughs> then, Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. Love, love. Doing our girl boss shit. Anyways, Frank. Okay, <laughs> that's so sad. Um, Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. Love. Most of these are classics because I'm trying to get back into reading and I want to start with classics before going on well not start i want to like i had the chance so i took my chance on the back of this one on the back of the secret garden it said when you where you tend a rose my lad a thistle cannot grow and then on the back of mary shelley it says cursed cursed creator why did i live why in that instant did i not extinguish the spark of existence which you had so wantonly bestowed that's so cute, so sad. We have Treasure Island by Robert Louis Stevenson. Love it. it says on the back, cause these are all, these, these classics are from the same publisher. So they all have similar setups, I guess. It says 15 men on the de dead man's chest. Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum. <laughs> so that was my first trip to the bookstore. Um, literally me and my friends just passed it and were like okay let's just take a look inside and then i came out with five books and i think my friend came out with like seven <laughs> next trip even though the f like first th the first thing i showed in the first book trip was emma a modern retelling but i hadn't actually read the original emma and so the only copy i saw in store i was like i have to get it i cannot wait so this is emma by jane austen it's not the same um, publisher as this, these these ones, but that's okay. On the back it says, I always deserve the best treatment because I never put up with any other. That's the quote. It has like a little more, but that was the quote that's on the back. So this is something that I almost got the first time I went, but I was like, let me hold off. Let me, let me get it later. So I have Dracula by Bram Stoker. Yeah. I, I hate this picture on the cover. I wish the picture wasn't there, but here we are. I'm excited to read. This is gonna be an exciting read. This is gonna be an exciting book here for me, to be honest. 
Next, I got Vanity Fair by William Makepeace Thackeray. I th Thackeray? 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 I don't know, but this is it. But yeah. Barnes and Noble Classics. Ooh. Anyways, this one is very promising. I've heard of it before. Never really heard the story, but I, I'm ready. I'm ready for it. Then I got the Midditch Cuckoos. Cuckoos? The Midditch Cuckoos by John Wyndham. This is a book that my friend got the first time we went, and then she got the second one the second time we went, and um, she pointed this out, and I was like, ooh, interesting cover, because even though you shouldn't judge a book by a cover, I judge li literal books by their literal covers. Um, but yes, this looks very promising. It looks really good. So I'm excited to read this one as well. And lastly, the last book from this haul um, is Nostromo by Joseph Conrad. This one, my friend, same friend from this book, we both saw this at the same time. We're like, oh, Nostradamus. No, it's not. It's Nostromo by Joseph Conrad. Same publisher as the three before from the first one, I think. I actually really like their covers. They're so elegant, simplistic. I love it. And then it says, government in general, any government anywhere is a thing of exquisite comicality to a discerning mind. So I'm also excited to read this one. It's actually really good. And um, so, yeah, I have made the vow to myself one of my new year's resolutions was to read more books this year because i've been lacking in my book reading as of late and hopefully that will also um roll into content like book hauls and such um so yeah i'm really excited to read these if anyone has recommendations put them in the comments uh yeah <laughs> um that was the that's the end of the video guys i'll put my socials in the description and a link to all of these um on amazon even though i didn't get them on amazon i have a link to them just in case anyone wants to get them and if you like the video make sure to like comment and subscribe and share the video with your friends thank you i'll see you guys later bye